डू यू वॉन्ट एडिशनल टू हंड्रेड पॉइंट इन योर कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव रैंकिंग स्कोर सिस्टम टू गेट परमानेंट रेजिडेंसी टू कैनेडा इफ यू डू देन प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड बिकॉज इट माइट बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर यू so um when i talk about an additional 200 points i'm sure it, it makes a lot of sense to you in getting a knock double o for which you get 200 points to canada now in today's video i'm going to tell you about this program called the intra company work permit a very famous program very very much viable program for people who are into skill into based into either a skill they have special skills related to their companies or they are the executive managers of their company so today i'm going to discuss about the nitty gritties of this program what we look for what is my basic assessment of the client and that's how we will roll out all the information to you i'm shreen kapoor a canadian immigration lawyer and here today i'm going to talk about the ict program which you must have heard through different various channels and now it is absolutely a very famous program bet- between amongst the working business class so what exactly is the intra company work permit basically what happens is that in in a lot of countries in the world are part of the gats agreement which is the general agreement on trade and tariffs because of this canada is also signatory to this 194 countries are signatory to this treaty of united nations and because of this there is a program called the international mobility program in canada which has a number of lmia exemption codes in it so one of the LMI my exempted code is the C12 also very famously known as the intra company work permit but who qualifies what are the criteria that the government is going to look at is another uh, this thing information that you need to know in order to understand whether you qualify or not the first thing that you have to understand is that who can apply for this program now the first the made uh, the main reason for this program was to develop was that the parent companies wherever they are strong based in UAE based in india based in pakistan wherever you are you can have a branch office in canada now what happens when you have a branch office in canada is that you are able to transfer senior managerial executive of your company a person who's been a uh, you know who's performed duties who's maybe the owner of the company maybe the senior most person or somebody who's got specialized knowledge expertise somebody who's a technical guy in your company and you want to transfer that person to the parent to the branch company in canada either it can be a branch or it can be a subsidiary or it can be an affiliation that is when we look at your papers and we look at your corporate structuring we decide what kind of structure will work for you in canada so once you we have that particular uh, reason out in front of you once your person has gone to canada and the person reaches canada the program can get you an additional 200 crs hike in your score after one year of experience in canada now why because this is an lmia exempted so you do not get immediate points like an lmia approved work permit but what does happen is that the parent company will open the branch company you, as a senior most executive person of the company you will go into canada and establish your business there run yourself run your company there and um, get you know be eligible for canadian uh, canadian permanent residency in a matter of say one year which is like really nothing compared to the other programs that are available the good thing about uh, i intra company work permit uh, processing is that it can sometimes in most of the countries it falls under the global skill strategy because it is lmi exempted now what do i mean by saying global skill strategy if we give every document pick and span to the uh, immigration authority along with your application when you're filing for the first time along with all your requisite details requisite documents of your company canadian company uh, indian uh, the home based country the parent company every document reaches them then you are maybe you are eligible to be assessed in a matter of simply 2 weeks so we've recently got approvals also in less than 2 weeks and believe you me it is very much possible that the intra company work permit can get you that fast processing of work permit including you and your dependents now where and who which companies can do it it is very important for you to understand that one year of relationship between you and your company needs to be there between the employer and the employee in the parent side that is only when that is only 
possible either you are the owner or you have your form 16 or you have your other particular uh, proof documents in place now this we will have to assess country by country in whichever country you are like dubai does not have tax residence so the salary certificates are not there but there are certain things which are possibly the tax papers are not there but there are certainly things which are possibly there in which we will see what are the alternative routes to establish that the second thing is that a lot of people ask me that does the branch company have to do the same work as the parent company so it is my uh, suggestion to you uh, that the holistically the principally you remain the same policy wise you might vary in terms of the product in, in terms of the trade you are doing you can obviously expand but all in all your whole business looks the same because obviously a parent company running out to uh, opening and expanding operations in a different company is because the parent company's work is doing pretty well and it wants to either increase its import export or other things now a lot of people also have this particular query about intra-company work permit is that when exactly can you land in Canada on that work permit? Now what happens is when you get an approval, the work uh, approval letter is given to you, you will go to port of entry, you will submit all your documentation again there and I'm sure your consultant or lawyer can help you with the port of entry interview if, it, if at all it is is that you will reach there submit your file everything is going to be there they will reassess they might just ask you a particular question might not ask you a particular question you have to be really lucky and they will issue you a work permit then and there that is the time period on your work permit from which your one year period starts now if you after one year still do not after 200 points also do not qualify for uh, canadian experience class by all grace because uh, intra-company work permit really does not need any education not much uh, IELTS score is it's like there is no such formality which is required right like in the other programs so if you reach there and even after one year you're not able to pull it off the PR file through then there is alternatives of getting a PNP or there is an alternative of extending your work permit which can be extendable up to seven years so in my whole file preparation and in whole diligence of the documents and whenever we prepare the file my goal is to understand the goal of the client now why is that important because if your goal is to establish your branch or establish some business there you want to bring in your investments to Canada you want to bring in your funds to Canada you want to actually uh, get permanent residency to canada the international mobility program does has things that do not you do not need to get into the labor market and intra-company work permit is one such beneficial route now if you have any further questions do not hesitate to contact us reach out to us on our uh, link in the description box and i'm sure you will uh, get the answers to your questions and if you have not watched our webinar on buying a business in canada the link is in the description box do check it out and uh, thank you everybody for attending the webinar it was a great pleasure we keep uh, we plan to keep hosting those webinars regularly and uh, stay tuned to our channel and our social media handles for everything thank you